I know some of you want to display tasks from your planner inside of a Power App. So today's your lucky day. We're going to actually look for tasks based on the plans. We're going to look inside of your planner, grab all of your plans, and then when you click on that one uh, plan group, which looks like I'm caught up on my tasks, there we go, then you'll be able to actually see the tasks that are due. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to jump right to this. So the first place we want to start on all of these kind of how-to videos, I put the code here with kind of a cheat sheet for you to follow along. And we're going to follow along each one of these steps. I'm going to show you how to do it. But please pause the video and reference this as a good reference guide for yourself. So I know I use them uh, personally as well. So click here. Also, I want to show you real quick. This is a app that I've created called Sample. And inside of here, I have everything that I'm kind of working on. Any little thing that I'm trying to, to do, uh, except for this one, added to YouTube. But here you can see attachments, relationships, pop-ups, counts, update tasks, and planner. All of those are, are content for little videos that I do. But this is where I play first to figure it out. And then I write down the code so that when I'm developing new apps, I can quickly go over here and remember because I forget um, more frequently than I like. So let's let's get right to creating this. So here we're going to use two galleries, and you can see here um, that we have a couple couple titles. But the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and make a connection. So you got to go to your data here under Planner, and you're just going to hit Add Data, and you're just going to type in Planner. Oops. Okay. And then you're going to hit planner and then it's going to add it to your environment. You're going to continue to follow it through. It's pretty simple. If you don't know how to add a data connector, see another one of the videos, but that's pretty much it. Then we're going to go back here to the screens. Remember we're doing everything here from the left side of the screen um, and our components here. We don't have any in this one, but here we're just going to do that. Now, we have two galleries here. Notice here on the left pane, planner tasks and plan galleries. So let's start with number one, insert gallery blank, connect to the planner and rename the gallery. So if I say insert gallery blank, okay, vertical or horizontal, I'm gonna go vertical. Okay, I can just do that and notice here, it's just telling me what, and I'm connecting right to planner. So that's all that I need to do for that section then i need to let's minimize this we're creating this one right here we're going to just click on this add item from pane and we're going to say insert text text input right here it's not text dash text input so we could do it text input here we could also do input text input we're just going to do that one and notice here it says the default code is blank Notice here that default code right now has text input. We want to get rid of that. We can do that here, or we can just go over here and erase it too. Okay. And now if you look at it, notice it looks two dashes just like that. Perfect. Easy enough. Now we're just going to select that top row again, just like this. And we're going to type in this sort by column. So I'm going to flip over now that you've, you've seen this uh, in action. Let's go ahead and just flip over back to this gallery. Okay. So that's the gallery we just created, by the way, gallery 11. I'm going to delete it. But here, I'm going to go to this gallery right here. And notice that I'm selected on the gallery. It says select gallery, top row. Okay. So within the top row, we want to make sure, let me see if this is in here. Oh, yeah, it's in here. Okay. So we want to do um, items right here hold on I, uh, oops i'm sorry i'm sorry so in the first row we want to make sure it looks like i need to add that as a step here <laughs> we need to make sure we add the text this item dot title because we want to see the title okay so you know how to do that we've done that in many videos just copy this and it, it will work and then we want to go back and select the gallery okay so the gallery itself we don't want to go to top row we just want to select the gallery okay and then um 
once we select the gallery here we're going to put in this sort by column so i'm going to expand that out so here we're going to search basically we're going to sort it by columns so we want it sorted a b c d e see that there and then we're going to search planner and this is the key right here planner list my plans and the value and then the plan search box now the plan search box is right here that's this box right here that we created okay and then we're going to search by title and and we're going to sort by title pretty easy um that's what it is so pause the video and copy that down so that's what we need to do there and then now whoops we're going to click back on there we've done step three here remember plan search box that's it right there okay and then the label that's the first one right there okay that's this item title you can add others you can just copy this and expand this down right you can copy this if you like and put um you know put what else whatever else you want to put in here okay if you don't know what to put you can start by saying title or let me see here id i don't know what id gives us it gives us something we don't want to see but you get the idea you can add whatever you want there okay and we're going to reduce that back again just like so great now we're going to go to the next section here so that's the first section here we've added this now i don't know if i put this on here well let's continue with the instructions insert gallery blank connect to planner so that's this one right here so we're going to do the same thing connect to planner just like we did before we're going to name it planner tasks then we're going to do the top row okay we're going to insert the text layer okay and title so i have it there i just don't have it up there okay so here you can see this item title here you can see the due date okay and here this is the planner update task okay so we're going to go over that in another video but that's what that button is and then here is the delete so i kind of wanted to show you all of these um some of these functions as well we don't go over these in other fun in other videos but but this is kind of how you can do this here too so here if we want to delete this task we type in this code right here so just with the trash can that was i went to icons right and added the icon the key here is make sure you're on this section when you do that and then you can see right there uh, how we do that okay so pretty easy there and then this is the update task code right there okay so if you want to look at those and play with those i still have something to add to that um and then this right here is title as you see here and then i've gone over here and i've adjusted this color right here okay so i put the fill i made it white just so that it shows up a little easier when i'm looking at things so no big deal and remember these are just labels right so i can move this this bad boy over here i can make a copy of it another one right reduce it here for example and instead of saying i could just say due date And boom uh, pretty simple so we got that right there and if i want to bold that due date i just go over here to bold and i can play with it up here i can also play with it over here so lots of different options here for you we're just kind of playing around now so let's get back to business here okay so now i've got what it looks like right now i've done all of this um, oh, on this gallery here, we need to finish the final step right here. So let's expand that down for you. And so here we're just listing your tasks, right? So remember this one, this first one, plan gallery, we listed the plans. Now we're listing my tasks. Now an important note here, they're listing your tasks, not everybody's tasks, only your tasks. And they're also under 100%. So notice here, so that means basically any task that's not completed, we're listing out here. Okay, so let's let's take this bad boy for a run, see how it works. So here, 
we've seen this but let's go into personal here and let's just add a task here we're going to call it test and then we're going to just put our name in there okay we're going to set the due date to today i'm going to add the task okay so theoretically we should be able to go back into our power app we should see that so let's go ahead and just select on something else so that we can we're going to force a um an update okay we're going to go there and there it is right there see test we just created it now we we didn't we set the due date for today it picked 4 a.m and then to delete that task we're just going to click here on this button and it will delete the task now i haven't obviously done a refresh i haven't the delete isn't plugged in yet on this one so let's see if we can get that to if it delete yeah so you can build in a refresh after the um so let me show you here real quick in power apps so here when we hit delete everything looked fine but what we need to do is go ahead and refresh this list before we post it again okay see some other videos on refreshing it's a pretty simple task and that really is about it i know we've gone a little longer than i like to go in these videos but this is a very down and dirty not much frills you can add all of the frills and get this to work in your apps but this is a real simple way to display tasks we've gone over and displayed the plans we select the plan and then this selects uh the gallery now oh i wanted to do one other thing to show you here real quick just in case you're wondering remember when we selected this plan what enables that is remember this is named plan gallery see it right there see it right here so we're saying any selected id okay the selected id from this plan here's the id number but it's basically saying anything anything i select inside of here notice it makes it green it's very convenient means that's what i want to display and only that so that's kind of how that works going from plan to plan take this concept we may not use planner we could filter on anything and be able to select from one gallery and show results in another